We're here at a fantastic location in Bowood, and I'm here to talk to you about a great up and coming event at Sherwood Forest, and it's called the Sherwood Forest Ferrari Supercar. Now it's actually located at Hexgrave Hall. It runs from nine o'clock in the morning to 3 p.m. in the afternoon, and it's for all Ferrari supercars. There'll be food available on site from the Cheeky Pig Cafe, would you believe it? Um, and the sort of food and sort of fare that you'll be able to expect is breakfast and coffees, that sort of thing. You know, the usual sort of fare that you'd expect at that sort of event. Now, with regards to the address, the address is Hexgrave Hall, just off the 8617 between Mansfield and Newark, postcode NG228LS. So I just said it again, Hexgrave Hall, just off the A617 between Mansfield and Newark, postcode NG228LS. Thank you guys, It'll be a great event. Please try and turn up if you can. Back to the main video. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Rich Reviews and you join us today on the way to Supercar Fest, the runway. We've just met up with a colleague of ours called Martin Cutler, you pan the camera around, there's Martin there. He's brought along his 458 Italia, so we've got two 458 Italias, we met at a steakhouse near the runway and we're going to drive in in tandem. So you'll join us back at the Supercar Fest, see you there. So we've arrived now at Supercar Fest. We're just coming up to our gate A where we drive in. We've been very fortunate to get the display ticket. So we're in the paddock area. It also comes with hospitality, which is pretty cool. So we're very lucky to get that. So we're here at the Supercar Fest Supercar Paddock. Try saying that with a few beers inside you. And we're just gonna walk around a few of the cars here in the Supercar Paddock, just to give an appreciation of the cars that have turned out. We won't be spending too much time on the cars. Um, we know that uh, you don't necessarily like me spending too much time talking about in too much detail about the cars. So we've got obviously my 458 um, Spider. We've got a 458 Italia behind. We've got a 911 Turbo S, F12 to the left. Down further, Mustang, another GT3 RS. Diablo SV on the right hand side, in yellow. These cars, by the way, that are lining up here, they're lining up to go up the hill, to go up the runway, not up the hill, to go up the runway. Um, so they're all queuing up and they're progressively going around in loops to actually progress up the runway. And we'll provide you some footage of that as well so that you can see what this whole event is about because this is called Supercar Fest The Runway, called The Runway for a reason. So here we've got Palescent White um, 458. To the right, we've got a 488 piece of spider, Eventstor SVJ, so here we've got a McLaren 650S Spider, Audi R8 to the right, 720 McLaren, another Hurricane here. And that's it for this range of cars that are queuing up to go up the runway. If you just look to the right now, you can see where they actually come round into this section and then queue up into, within the penned area. And then they've got um, a start entrance section where they actually start and then race along the runway. And the runway turns to the right. Um, so they've got a bit of a straight section where they race up to and then it turns to the right and then they've got the long runway section which they get up to the fastest speed they possibly can across that stage. We believe 458s have been measured around the 150 mark along there. I guess the McLarens, because of their high torque rate, will get a lot faster.
marshals coordinating the cars as they come forward to make sure they're going into the penned area in an orderly fashion. Interesting number plate on this 458 Italia, Drive 4R. Oh, bit of a bit of confusion there. <laughs> What well, as they say, you had one job. The PA is coordinating the cars as they come forward and giving some insight into the cars and some background to the, to the actual vehicles before they, uh, before they progress along the runway. Got a special car coming forward now out of the hypercar enclosure. It's an F40 LM. Behind the LM we've got an Enzo. All these are going up the runway. The LM is sounding like it's got straight through pipes. Look how slammed it is on the front. Look at the height of the front of the LM and you compare that to the Enzo, there's a substantial difference. LM sounds like he's having to keep the revs up all the time. He's probably got a very, very light flywheel, very light race tune flywheel, which means that he has to keep revving it all the time to stop it from stalling because there's not enough mass in the flywheel to keep the inertia um, when it's on low revs. What a lineup of cars! There goes the Ferrari Enzo. <laughs> Katie is screaming like a little girl right now. Challenge Stradale is hitting that runway now. The sound, the sound of the Stradale. If you do a comparison between the sound of this and the next car, turbos that's the 48 great, pistol, obviously the turbos the kill the sound. Giro, just a heads up, in one of the Bugattis, the event organizer, a 300 plus means it does 300 plus. That's it, the two on 300 does the R. Special edition SVJ Lamborghini. So this is the hypercar enclosure for Supercar Fest. We're just going to walk down some of the cars and show you the sort of um, hypercars that we've got here. A lot of these have already gone up the runway. So here we've got a Bugatti Veyron, we've got McLaren Senna. Next to the McLaren Senna, we've got a McLaren P1 in yellow. The retractable wing on the back. Can't, no mistake in the car next to the McLaren P1, we've got a Carrera GT, Porsche Carrera GT. Next to the Porsche Carrera GT, we've got a Ferrari Enzo. This was named after the F50, so instead of calling this an F60, it was named the Enzo. It would naturally have been called the F60 because it was produced after the F40, but it was named to commemorate Ferrari Enzo. Next to the, next to the Enzo, we've got a McLaren Elva. Next to the Elva, we've got a Ferrari Monza SP2. Next to the Monza, we've got a, another Ferrari Enzo. So switching to the other side now, we've got, a, we've got a Bugatti Chiron. Next to the Bugatti Chiron, we've got the Ferrari F40 LM that we've just seen go up the runway. Next to the, next to the F40 LM, we've got an F50. My son's favorite car, not. Next to the LM, we've got a TDF, Ferrari TDF. Next to that, we've got an SVJ Roadster. Next to the Roadster, we've got an SF90 Spider. Actually, it looks pretty cool in red. I like the Schmies Electrico version of this as well. Next to the SF90, we've got a Ford GT. This is my preferred version of the Ford GT. I don't like the later versions, even though they're faster. Next to the Ford GT, we've got an Aventador SVJ. And next to the Aventador SVJ, we've got a McLaren Senna in impressive color scheme and the JSP color scheme. This is a very rare color scheme or, or um, not much used nowadays color scheme that was for the livery of the F1, old F1 Lotus cars. Look at 
the it's very impressive the carbon fiber on the front although skip all the water stains obviously that's where water pools there's a front splitter front spi front uh, spoiler full number plate too as we come outside we've got an 812 in 812 gts in what looks like tdf blue with a little, a little bit of electrico to it as well but i'm pretty sure it's tdf blue with a crema interior exactly done actually inside it's got blue stripe it's got blue stitching and blue cavallinos on the headrest Here we've got a Pagani Huayra in a Captain America colour scheme, a Captain America livery. Just come into the Petrol Hendonism era supercar fest and there's some there's a pretty cool car here a 911 gt2 rs everybody's looking at all the other modified cars here, but this is one of the most important cars here all of this look at it all carbon fiber super lightweight see large rear wing this is the pinnacle of the 911 range another hypercar area here another hypercar enclosure so here we've got a la ferrari next to the next to the la ferrari we've got an aventador and then we'll come around to the left hand side. So here we've got a Ferrari 365 Daytona. Proper name is Free Ferrari 365, but it's nicknamed the Daytona. Here we've got a Ferrari Enzo again. And here's my favourite car here of all, the 458 Speciale. I wouldn't say it's launch spec, but not far off launch spec. And here you can see it's got the, the three point harness as well, which I feel that these cars really should have been specced with. And I believe that they gain a premium if they have the full three-point harness. Next to that, we've got the 16M Scuderia. Very cool car. Very limited numbers. 499, I believe. Next to that, we've got a 360 Challenge Stradale. Here we've got a 599 GTO. So this is the next GTO along from the 288. 288 being its predecessor. A lot of people believe that this isn't really a true GTO. Next to the GTO, we've got an SF90, Rosso Corsa Resale Red. Next to that, we've got the new Ford GT, or the later Ford GT, I should say, with the V6 engine. Not my favourite of the Ford GTs, much prefer the original. So here as we come out into the centre parking area, we've got a 992 GT3. Coming along to the end of this enclosure for the hypercars, or the extended area of the hypercars, we've got a 488 Pista here. Again, pretty much launch spec, apart from the silver stripe, it's usually um, straight blue stripe down the center with Rosso on Rosso Corsa. Unbeknown to many, when you look through the engine cover, it's not actually the overhead cam covers that you're looking at. You're actually looking at just, or, or even the plenums, usually with the Ferraris, it's the plenum, the red sprinkle, the, the red crinkle painted, items are the actual plenums usually in in the cars in the ferraris when they're in this in the through the display area or the, through the display panel or through the display screen i should say we'll get it right in a minute um, but on the actual turbocharged cars um, and on the 488 there's actually a cover section it's it's not actually anything it's just like a an air intake venting in downstream to the plenums the plenums actually are a lot lower and the engine is really low in the car so it's great for um Great for centre of gravity, of course, for the car, but uh, it's actually a falsity. They're not really showing the plenums, but they don't say it's the plenums. It's just people perceive that to be the case. We're going to close out now on the 488 Pista. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Great future content to come. We're here at the Ferrari Owners Day next week, so um, hope you enjoyed the content, and we'll see you in the next video, which will be Ferrari's Owners Day.